Hey guys, God's here, and welcome to Being One. This is a puzzle horror game series that I did play a few years ago, and it was really fun. This is episode one of five that I know of. Supposedly there's a sixth episode, but I'm not too sure about it. So let's just hop right in. You awake in a vat, liquid bubbling up in front of your eyes. You have no idea where you are, who you are, or even what you are. Your eyes take a while to adjust to your surroundings. And you must get out of this vat and escape this vile laboratory. Let's go. Okay. So... Do I connect? Release? No. Okay. Can I unlock this now? There, it's unlocked now. Alright, let's go. Open. Open. There you go. <coughs> Ew. So, like I said, I did play this game a few years ago, but I don't really remember everything about it. So, far. I'm here to help you. I'll send descriptions of items and possible and possibly codes if you need them. I'm sorry they did this to you. Hopefully we will meet up later, but for now, just get out of the lab as soon as you can and as fast as you can. Alright, let's go. Okay. Yeah, you can tell this is a science lab. Mm. Sample too. Okay, so one thing I do remember is you do have to collect a bunch of stuff in this. Is there anything in these mugs? Nothing? Red mug? What is this? Key? Okay. It's in the drawer. Oh, password angel. Okay. Let's see, preliminary report. The subject is quite amazing. The first able to withstand the gene splicing therapy and show no side effects, at least none as we. We will continue to monitor the subject indefinitely and send reports upstairs as per usual. I'm sorry, but it's really hard. I'm not, I can't really read cursive, guys, so it's kind of hard for me. If you can, just might be easier for you guys to just pause the video and be able to read it from there because I can barely read most of it. Yeah. <laughs> Keep back to computer. Lock. Okay. Key. Unlock. Another sample tube. Anything you saw around here? Pipes? Dial buttons. Okay, guess not. Turn. So, this is the vat you was in, I was in, and you made a whole mess all over this floor. God damn. Anything? Ooh, tube. What's the trip switch? Okay. Turn on. Don't know what I did. There. 5921. Code for something. Machinery. Tutorials jam shut. Oh, it's back to the computer. Actually, I just remember. Is it on? Oh, yeah. Password. Angel. It's lying. You need more samples to activate file system. Insufficient data received from analyzer. Eight samples required. So, guessing that's how much I need. Okay. One thing I do remember about this game is that each episode, w there's a theme to it. I think this episode was more like with aliens. The other episodes, I know there was like vampires was one of them. Werewolves. And I think one of them was about dark matter or dark energies, something like that. Are those brains in jars? Uh, looks like brains in jars. Computer screen. Nothing. Uh, analyzer. Oh, okay. F four more. Back to lab. I honestly forget what this does. But all three are active, and I don't know what to do. Specimens. All right. So these are the specimens inside. These are where they 
keep the aliens inside. This one, five, nine, two, no, 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 dang it. Five, nine, two, two, one. Okay, yeah. Ew. Looks like a hand. Yeah, that looks like a hand. Can I do anything? Ooh. Okay. So, I think I just terminated him. You found a green access card. You will need all three to open up the main door and you'll need to reset the three trip switches too. How are you feeling? Rough, I bet. Don't worry, we'll get you out of there. Okay, so, I did the three switches. And, wait, oh, do you even see this? Specimen one. Showed great potential early on, but rapidly declined into insanity and rage. He escaped the vet and killed two scientists in quite a horrific way before security guards were ordered to destroy him. The hand slash arm was pretty much all that was left. It was put into storage for further analysis. Dr. Ray... I'm gonna just call him Dr. Ray for now. Or Dr. Rye. Is it Rycraft or Ryraft? Something like that. Right. Specimen number two. Specimen two is extremely dangerous, showing signs of some kind of telepathy. After he manipulated scientists into killing himself, we had no choice but to abort the experiment. Needless to say, the subject didn't go quietly. Several guards reported extreme headaches and nosebleeds during the operation. Put on storage for the time being. Dr. Rycraft. 7782. So, this is one. 7782. Oh. Oh, he's creepy looking. Yank the cable. Oh. Oh, crap. That actually scared me a little. Red card. You don't need all three to open. Oh, yeah. I read that already. Specimen 3. Specimen 3 was severely mutated, growing eyes and limbs apparently at random. His mutations continued until the project manager deemed it was necessary to abort the subject, humanely. Just looking at this poor creature makes me wonder if we are doing the right thing here, but the advantages for far outweigh the disadvantages. Yeah, so this episode was about aliens. So, but the thing is, I still need the other samples. And I need his code, which I don't remember where to access. Oh, dang it, table. It sounds like there's something in here with me. Oh, hello. Thank you. Can I look over here? No? What's this? Oh no, yeah. Table already. The vat. Specimens. Door. Am I missing it or somewhere? Sheesh, I can't. So the computer just will not let me in at all until I get all eight samples. That was the drawer where it opens. This is the vat I was in. What is this? Map. Specimen area. <laughs> you will never escape. Oh, if it's written in blood. That guy didn't make it. The vat. That's the vat that's been sustaining and transforming you for the last few months. It's been feeding you, washing you, and getting rid of your waste. Good, eh? Wait, it's been transforming me? Is there a mirror where I can look? Doors are jammed shut. Oh! Finally. I could open the bottom one, but not the top ones. Um. God dang it, where is the last sample? This is driving me insane. Oh, 
there, not there. Not in any of the specimen stuff. Extinguisher. In the event that you do set yourself on fire, this might become very useful. But try not to, eh? I just got out. I do not want to. There we go. The last sample. All right. Let's do this. There we go. Send samples. Samples set. Okay. Now I should be able to use the computer. This way. Login. There we go. All right. Let's see. Blood report. Initial blood reports came back, and we were quite shocked by them. Not only was the blood extremely pure, it had many new qualities we were not expecting to find. The regenerative qualities were obvious, but there are other things we cannot understand yet. We need to do more in-depth tests to unlock the secrets of this blood. So, whose blood is it? Is it mine? Or is it from the aliens you guys have contained? The subject is the first to withstand the gene therapy and not reject it straight away. The others lasted a few days or were a security threat in some way and had to be dealt with. This subject is by far the most stable we have seen. Something in his genetic makeup obviously makes, up, makes him able to adjust to the alien DNA. His mind seems calm and relaxed, yet he spends a lot of time REM sleep cycles. English. <laughs> I often wonder whether he's dreaming of Earth or elsewhere. We need to run more tests before waking him fully as it could be quite a shock to him to find himself here. And also if he found out what we had done to him, I'm sure he would not be happy. We will continue to monitor him for the time being. So is it me? Kinda sounds like me. Tissue sample. The subject skin has many strange qualities. It is extremely elastic, springing back into position after being pulled to extremes. It also has kinetic reactive property that seems harder, seems to harden under force. Basically, the harder you hit, the harder it becomes temporarily. It's almost like a form of reactive armor. We now know that this is why we had so much trouble destroying some of the previous subjects. Also, we found its regenerative qualities are also quite amazing under microscope. You can visually see it reforming. These qualities would be very useful to the human race, but further study is required, as the last thing we want is this thing escaping from here. Brainwave. Brainwave activity seems to show the brain in a state of REM sleep for majority of the time. There are various readings that... Uh, brain fart, dang it. <laughs> readings that also go right off our charts, and we simply cannot explain those at this point. More study is definitely needed as we have already seen. These things can manipulate us with their mind power alone, which is obviously very frightening, although that skill could be extremely useful to us. So I have a feeling they're not talking about the guys anymore. They're talking about me. Image one. Ew. Tissue regeneration. Even after extreme wounding, the tissue seems to knit itself back together at an alarming rate. Much faster healing than human flesh. These qualities could be very useful to our work here. Oh, that that looks nasty, but I can see what they mean by knitting. Eesh. Image two. Ooh, his eye. Eyes. These things seem to be able to see fine under dark lighting conditions and even in the pitch black. We need to do more research on their eyes as they are truly amazing and could be extremely beneficial to the human race. It looks like a regular eye to me. Specimen 3. Sp Specimen 3 was an anomaly, or at least we hoped it was. It formed arms, limbs, and eyes at random, as if its DNA was constantly rewriting itself. We couldn't stop it and it seemed to be in extreme pain. We made the decision to destroy it, but not all of it was destroyed, so we keep it in storage for now. It settled in a four-armed form upon its death. We wonder if this is its original form or simply where it was at the time. We must study this in bleh. We must study this further as we, if we are to include this DNA in humans, then we cannot run the risk of human beings bursting into multiple limbed alien creatures. For now, it is in storage until we get the time to perform further tests upon it. Right there. 1259. Activate door. Do not activate. Oh yeah, that's right. I 
gotta go kill the guy. And just like that, I already forgot what the passcode was. <laughs> 1259, okay. So it seems they were experimenting on all these guys trying to make humans better. Well, let's see the damage of this guy. Ooh! Well, actually, he's not really that bad looking. I mean, number two was more scary, especially when he opened his eyes and looked at us. But, yep. Claw. Ooh, wait. He has other arm, two arms. But the head is not really formed like the other one. Well, pull the cable on him. All right. Got the blue access card. Okay. Now back to the computer to. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, back to the computer to turn, activate the door. Oh my God! I can't. There we go. Log in. Activate door. Now we go. Now we can leave. Exit. Let's go. Exit. Exit. Health bar. What the hell? Um. Oh, she's just kidding me. Oh. In this reality, you failed. In an alternate reality, you can try again. Kick the arrow above to retry. Yeah. I forgot. There was a boss fight, and I don't remember everything. Turn the wheels. Wheels. Are they active? Oh, yeah, there. And turn on. You destroyed the Guardian mech. I forgot. Each episode, there's a boss fight. Move onward. Oh. Episode 1 done. Alright, nice. Well, I guess that means we can move on to episode 2. So, if you guys did enjoy this, let me know in the comments. Leave a like. I do really want to continue playing this. This game is really fun. Episode 2. From what I remember, I think this was the... Episode 2 was the vampire themed episode. And there was a vampire fight at the end of it. I think. Can't really remember. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, leave a comment, leave a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Aloha.